Today I'm going to show you this really great uh, AMS riser that uses very minimal material and um, has a low print time. Now as you can see it's a, a very low profile and um, because of that very low print time now you lose out on the the riser that holds bed uh, build plates and things like that. However, you get a lot of cost savings in print time and in material. Now, the great thing about this design are these clips here. This lets you sit the, the AMS on here so that this can uh, still be opened. It's a really great design. So you can still gain access to opening up for airflow. Another great design feature is this uh, French cleat. It's built into the side here. With the cleat, you can connect anything to the side of the printer, which is a really cool feature. I whipped together some of these um, multi-board snaps with a little cleat that matches the uh, inset on the side of the riser. And so now I can um, attach an entire multi-board. So now you get access to all these tools right on the side of the printer, which is really great. Obviously the riser is completed. However, there's an additional feature, which is uh, interior lighting with an LED strip. So uh, the design also accounts for adding these strips and a clip inside so that everything's secure and you get full lighting around the inside of the printer. So let's put that together. So this is what the, the riser looks like. Come, you prints in four pieces, so you can print the entire thing on the, the bed, uh, single bed plate. Uh, it, it's great design with uh, dovetails, just slides together. Don't even really need glue, slides right in. It also has this other cool design with these uh, legs that go on the back. And what that allows is just to snap in a save so that when you slide your top glass panel, it can only go so far. So there's just snap in. Now, the LED strip holder, it's a pretty cool design. It also prints in pieces and it is just a looks like a 45 degree bevel and then it is designed to have some clips hold in the LED strip so if the inside of the chamber heats up you don't have to worry about the adhesive coming undone. Got all the pieces here. Let's put this together. Obviously we have light now. Let's get this hooked back up. Glass plate is back on the slider. As you can see, you got that positive stop back here, which is really nice. And we're gonna place our clips back on. Let's put the AMS back up. AMS is back up on the riser. You can still slide open the glass plate. And I've installed the USB into the first port of the Panda Power, which gives us the ability to link to our lights.